Oh yeah, let's talk a little bit about Project XMC. Oh, lots of cool things happening with this. Now, if you don't know what Project XMC is, it's extremely modified carburetor. Right? That, that's what the XMC stands for. But what XMC is, as you can see, we have milled the complete top of this carburetor off. Way more than just milling off a choke tower like, you know, here. But this is, you know, extreme modification. We are making our own top to put on here we are not going to be limited to any design limitations like the old carburetors are you know because they, they're limited they have to you know have they're basically all the same kind of outlay uh, uh, outline right as far as the top goes for the hollies we don't have any design limitations as regards to that we can do whatever we want with this and it's going to be pretty insane uh, you know from what I can come up with but in order to achieve this extreme modifiedly carburetor project, we have to do some research and development. We have to test some things out. We have to know what exactly we want to make this top look like, right? I mean, you know, we've gone this far, but now we have to know what are we replacing it with. Well, in order to do that, we have to test some things out. So we have to have prototypes such as this. This is Project XMC Prototype A right here. This is going to be testing a very specific um, um, feature that I kind of want to implement to this, this final product here, right? We are testing something that I haven't seen anybody else really do or attempt before. I could be wrong, right? I, I, I definitely could be wrong. But this is our idea. Now, as you can see, some stuff has happened here. What is going on here? What are we doing? Well, you know, I'm not going to tell you exactly what's going on just yet, but this is a sneak peek. You know, you can uh, put your guesses down in the comments section on exactly what we're doing, right? But as you can see, the boosters are gone. We have machined out this little lip into the actual carburetor so that we can put these inserts, photoed right here, into it, right? Look at that. Pretty fancy, isn't it? Now, I know you're asking yourself, why? right well all in due time right like i said put your comments down in the you know comment section what am i doing this for now i've seen something sort of similar to this uh at least this part of it anyway alcohol carburetors some alcohol carburetors have done that sort of thing where they put the inserts in and whatnot but that's not exactly what we're doing we're, we're, we're doing something a little different there uh yeah, but basically, this is from the machine shop, uh, fresh from the machine shop, because I need to add some JB Weld right below these boosters here. If you see right below where that booster used to be, I have to build that up with JB Weld. Uh, then we'll remachine it flat, that way it will have a flat surface there to work with. Now, the guy doing the machining, it, his operation is Woodrow Machining, uh, Brainerd, Minnesota. Awesome guy. Real awesome guy. He has been helping me out with this whole Project XMC uh, business, right? He milled all this down for me. We're currently working on this whole fiasco. This will be done here, you know, sometime, sometime soon. Then we can actually test to see if our idea works at all there's no guarantee what i'm doing here is actually going to work this could be a complete failure right 
it could work, but it could work worse than what the carburetor did before we messed with it, right? Uh, it, meaning it could work, but it could be worse than what we started with. I have no idea yet. That's why we're testing this stuff, right? And you will get to see exactly what it is we're doing with it shortly, shortly. I got to leave some suspense on the table, right? You know, I, I can't just lay it all out on the line. But I have to give you, you know, some, you know, we started with this teaser, teaser, right? Now we have this, right? So just showing you that Project XMC is underway, okay? Machining takes some time. I mean, this guy, Woodrow Machining, he's done all the calculations and he put this on the mill and he got the good circumference there and he made those inserts to fit just perfect and they're the inserts are more than just inserts they they uh there's there's something else going on with it uh so we needed to make sure we had special clearances involved towards the bottom and we'll have to find a way to seal it all up i mean actually seal the inserts in there i'm thinking we're going to use some sort of an epoxy or a silicone maybe almost like a gasket material to seal it actually inside these uh these bores uh <coughs> so yeah that's where we're sitting right now very close to being able to have a functional uh testable uh um well item now this is a 600 no no it's a 650 holly uh main body although after we're done with it, it's going to be probably a lot bigger than 650. Uh, I have no idea how what CFM it's going to run. We will find out though, because I have another. We have a collaboration going on with uh, another channel. I, I actually have to get a hold of them. I am terrible of like keeping track with people sometimes. I mean, honest patrons still wait for me to come up to meet him and. Uh, and the daughter there and have a good time up there uh, I haven't forgotten about it okay I it's my fault I'm, t I'm terrible at like keeping tr track with people and whatnot any who's although this will be happening soon we'll be able to flow bench it we're collaborating with the guy with flow bench so we'll be able to flow bench this and actually see we won't have a comparison before and after but we know what it flowed before so we'll know you know we'll be able to see what it flows now uh, I do have to come up with parts for it though like I said this is a 650 so it technically requires a 750 base plate uh, 650 750 700 they, they're all the same base plate size so I gotta come up with a 750 base plate because the one I have remember the ear broke off of and uh, we replaced it with the 850 base plate that uh, that uh, Clayton's Toolbox provided us. Thank you very much, Clayton's Toolbox, yet again. Uh, but I got to come up with a 750 base plate, and I got to get metering blocks for that kind of <laughs> carburetor size. I'm sick. Sorry if I'm coughing. Uh, ear infection, too. My ear's all plugged up. God, that really sucks. Um, but, yeah, I, I got to... You know, I, I gotta accumulate the other pieces of this carburetor. The float bowls will just use the ones we have. Uh, uh, as far as the metering blocks are concerned, I don't know if the ones we'll have will work. They might. I don't know. We're about to find out. Uh, well, I mean, you know, if things go awry and this uh, pours way more fuel than what we want it to, we might just turn it into an EF or uh, 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 E85, you know, flowing. And I have E85 metering blocks over there to convert it into that. I don't know. I don't know. It's still all up in the air. This is as far as we've gotten so far. We have an idea, and we're going for it. But, you know, whether it will work or not is yet to be seen. Woodrow Machining. I'm telling you, that guy is awesome. If you ever need something done... Uh, you know kind of cool project wise you know stuff like this he's willing to take it on so well I'll catch you guys next time oh but wait we have tunnel ram yet that i'm going to show you real quick before we head off
All right, so the next video is going to be all about tunnel ram. I got my plugs, uh, vacuum plugs. We'll use uh, one of these off one of the carburetors, and we'll use, you know, a, a manifold vacuum for the vacuum gauge, obviously. But the rest are all plugged up, so that's taken care of. Fuel, we need to, uh, we need to, uh, well, I need fuel outlets for a dash six because we have all that fuel line out there the a n line a n line so we i have those on order they're coming in the mail sometime this weekend so we'll be able to plumb our fuel line that will be really simple then it's just a matter of the throttle which technically i do have zip ties which work great check out that action right and then we have our uh, return or uh, you know throttle spring there which will just make a mount down here you know off that bolt and that'll be just fine uh we'll, we'll need our lever linkage arm we'll get something going on with that somehow to make it actually you know function but really this thing's pretty close to just plopping on the engine right not too much to it really uh, we'll have to zip tie these closed, or, well, not closed, open, because we're not running a choke. And that's about it. That This is actually, the, I'm hoping this will go on before winter. And then we'll rip the engine out and put it, you know, there, right? Because over the winter, we are going to dissect that engine that's already in the car. Find out what the heck it is, because it's a mystery to me, right? Diagnose, you know, what, you know, how worn out really is it? I think it's toast worn out, but never know, it might not be. And we are going to use some of those parts off that engine to complete that engine. That engine is going in next spring. I wanted it this spring. I wanted it this summer. Didn't happen. So... It will go in next spring because if that engine is sitting in here and the you know Mustang is engineless, yeah, it's gonna be a lot more you know motivating to make sure I have something to put back in it, right? Okay, now that should be everything I do believe. Tunnel Rams next that we're gonna be working on that. Project XMC is well underway. It just Machining takes time, okay? You know, R&D, it, it takes some time. Uh, but there will be a lot more of that coming soon. So, I'll catch you then.